Hi, and welcome to Toyo Time with your host, Dan the Product Man. Today I'm going to show you how to use the multi information display on a 2016 Scion IM. You'll notice on the multi information display you have your temperature for the outside. You also have three different sections that you can navigate through. One is marked with an I for the information about the car, such as gas mileage. You also have an exclamation point inside a triangle, which is for your error messages or check engine lights. And also a sprocket at the end, which is for the settings of the multi-information display. You navigate through, through these using the right side of the steering wheel with the up, down, left, and right circle, as well as the center button to select an item or reset your miles per gallon, and a backup button as well. So when you're looking at your multi-information display, look at the blue line that's underneath one of the three sections to let you know which section you're in. Currently, we're in the information section, which gives us the current miles per gallon bar, how long the car's been on. If you push down, you'll see the range left on the tank and how, long, how fast you've been going since you reset the vehicle as well. Then you also have a blank screen if you don't want anything displayed. When you push it to the right, you'll see that there's no messages. If you had a message here, you'd be able to get more information. And then over in your settings, you can change the language from English to French. You can also take the units from miles per gallon to liters per 100 kilometers and kilometers per liter. And then you have information about the driver one. You can change the bar type for miles per gallon. You can also change things of when your time is after you reset it or after you start the car whichever way you like to do it. Then if you go to bar type, you can change it to after reset, after start, and after refuel. Most people choose after refuel, that way every time they fill up the tank, they don't have to reset their miles per gallon. You have two different drivers you can set that to, so play around with it if you have multiple drivers. You also have scheduled maintenance, which you can reset. I typically let the dealership do this since they are the ones that do all the maintenance and you do get the first two years for free. Initialize display basically resets it back to factory settings. If you have any other questions, please email me at danTheProductMan at gmail.com or you can find me on Facebook.com slash DanTheProductMan. Thank you for watching.